Field Bus isn't really one thing, but more of a collection of things. Field Bus is a group of protocols that are used in the industrial arena. The Field Bus protocols have been standardized as IEC 61158. Before we get started on today's video, if you love our videos, be sure to click the like button below. Then make sure to click subscribe and the little bell to receive notifications of new RealPars videos. This way, you never miss another one. Basically, Fieldbus works on a network that permits various topologies such as the ring, branch, star, and daisy chain. Prior to field bus, industrial controller systems were connected using RS-232 serial communications. As you know, serial communications allowed only two devices to communicate. Whereas today, the field bus connections are more closely compared to the typical Ethernet connections where you can connect multiple field devices to a single connection point that would then connect to the controller. However, Field bus is not a connection type per se, but instead a description used to indicate a group of protocols. There are several protocols in the group, such as ControlNet and the Allen Bradley family, Modbus, Profibus, EtherCat, Hart, SIP, and many more. A primary benefit of Field bus is for field connected devices. For instance, Consider you have several field devices that are quite a distance from your computer. With field bus devices, such as sensors, motors, lamps, switches, these devices are connected to an I.O. data block, which is then connected to a field distribution device, which is connected to a field bus power supply, then finally connected back to the controller. The connections to the field bus components with the exception of the field devices themselves, are single cable connections. This connection scheme may vary depending on the field bus protocol that you are using. This type of field device connection saves on wiring runs that would have to go all the way back to the controller. As you can see, this type of device wiring would have many benefits when the distance is an issue. As you can imagine, your controller system will need to have a communications module that will be able to establish communications with the field devices. In the case of ControlNet, you would need a ControlNet module, Profibus would need a Profibus module, etc. This is not to say that every protocol is dedicated to a particular manufacturer and must connect to the proprietary controller. For instance, Profibus is a widely used protocol that can connect to Allen Bradley, Siemens, Modicon, etc. The same applies to the universal protocol of Modbus. However, some protocols do not play well with others. ControlNet is an example that cannot integrate into a Siemens processor. With this information, as you can see, there should be great care taken when designing your plant control system, including the communications network and specifically the device layer if considering field bus devices. Do your research and make sure that all family members like each other and are willing to communicate together. Want to learn PLC programming in an easy to